So uh, my project here was uh, an OpenMS PagerDuty plugin. Um, basically, what I was looking at trying to do was integrating OpenMS with PagerDuty, which can be used to um, send out notifications, handle escalation paths, um, you know, text message, emails, uh, voice calls, etc., um, and all that can be managed there within that, within PagerDuty. Uh, while OpenMS does support some of that. Itself, it, you know, it's kind of difficult to configure in some cases, and um, uh, integrating with SMS and phone again, that that adds even more complexity. So, uh, by integration with the integrating with the service like PagerDuty, we offload all of that work to them, um, and then they have a nice little UI that makes it easy to uh, easy to manage. So, um, it's actually implemented as a plugin. Uh, so the repository is here. Uh, plugin works similar to like Patrick's plugin that he showed. It works on top of the uh, OpenMS integration API. Uh, this one actually hooks into alarms. So as alarms are uh, published in OpenMS, it's got hooks and can decide if uh, an alarm needs to be forwarded or not, and then send that as an event into uh, into PagerDuty. Okay. So I have actually uh, an open NMS system here that's set up, is configured to forward, uh, forward certain alarms over to, to PagerDuty. Um, and I see I have my PagerDuty instance here, and there's no incidents that are currently triggered. So um, in order to demo this, you know, one thing I could do is monitor a server uh, and then go ahead and, you know, take it down. We should see an alarm be generated uh, and, you know, have it, have it call. But rather than do that, I... That we could, you know, maybe have some fun with it and integrate with uh, with Minecraft. So the way I have it set up here now is um, open, and we actually have a plugin running in uh, Minecraft now. Um, and what that plugin does is, let's see if I can uh, if I can find it here. C two NMS. So that plugin allows you to define um, a certain set of zones. Okay, uh, and then those zones are basically prescribed areas within the uh, within the game, um, and then those have x y coordinates, uh, a radius, and a height. So essentially, like a cylinder. And whenever players enter enter or leave those zones, it'll send out events to open NMS. Okay, um, so those events, as currently configured in Open NMS. Uh, trigger alarms. So here's a quick idea of what the event configuration look like. We have these player enter zone events, player left zone events. Um, this is the trigger with a type one. Left zone is a clear with a type two. Um, and then so what should happen here is we'll have in this Grafana dashboard, I go ahead and filter for um, alarms with that UEI of type one, so very greater than normal. So this will show us any players that are within any of the zones, okay, that are defined on the server. Um, I also have some drools rules on the OpenNMS side of things. So taking advantage of the drools engine within AlarmD um, that keeps track of how many players are in a given zone. So uh, these rules here basically manage these facts here, these player and zone facts uh, get added or removed as alarms come or as alarms go. Uh, and then I have this rule here, mouse bar over capacity, okay? So if it detects more than, in this, the way it's configured on the server, more than 10 players in the mouse bar, then it will go ahead and send another event called the zone over capacity event uh, that will be triggered, okay? And then that rule is configured to uh, forward a trigger or a notice to pager duty, which should then uh, make my phone ring. Okay, as part of the escalation path. So if we can get 10 players in the mouse bar, and if everything works out just fine, then I should get my phone should ring and I should get a notification saying there are over 10 players in the mouse bar. Okay, uh, mouse bar isn't respecting social distancing guidelines, uh, and then we can alert the proper authorities. So um, if you want to join me, in the mouse bar, uh, we see we have a couple players there now, three, so I'm gonna need uh, 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my way there. Uh, hopefully you see my Minecraft client here. Uh, if you don't know where the mouse bar is, I've actually added a convenient shortcut that can uh, take you right there. So if you press uh, forward slash on your keyboard, you can say go to zone, and it'll actually take you in the center of the, the zone. So if I go to zone mouse bar, Press enter and should take me right here. Okay, so we got a few players here now. 
Um, let's see. And we'll just keep that going. We'll move over so we can kind of see them all. Here we got what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll just give people a chance to join here. Um, and what we expect to happen is another alarm should pop up at the top. Zone over capacity. That should trigger an incident to pager duty. I should then call my phone. And I'll put it on speaker so we can all hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Hear the message. Oh, there we go. Phone's ringing. We got the alarm. Let's answer. Major duty alert. You have one triggered incident on open and MS booking. The failure is mouth bar is over capacity with 10 total players. Press 4 to acknowledge. Press 6 to resolve. Press 0 for help. The incident could not be acknowledged because it had. All right, and there we are. So that's it. So we have uh, Minecraft integration uh, to be able to send events when players enter zones, and we have a page duty integration that's able to send off the incidents and uh, you know call someone if there's a if there's a problem. Um, so if we leave the zone, the alarm will automatically clear, uh, and the incident will get resolved in page duty. So that is my demo.